welcome to join uh, the Hong Kong International Admissions Talk today. Uh, I'm Robert Chen, and I'm from the Hong Kong Admissions team. So I will be going through uh, with you about uh, what we will be looking like studying in Hong Kong, Hong Kong U. So let's start. So we spend some time for some of you maybe not uh, know much about Hong Kong, although Hong Kong would be a familiar name. So you can see Hong Kong is a very vibrant city. Uh, we have uh, a nice scenic view. We have Dragon Boat Race. Uh, we have a lot of nice food, dim sum, and also art. So actually, it's a melting pot of Eastern and Western cultures. So you can see some uh, traditional Chinese temples. So I would say there will be features in Hong Kong. Uh, what will be the features? You can see here, culture, the nature, and the future. So basically, the culture and the nature is what you would be experiencing studying in Hong Kong. And the future is actually what you will be having in Hong Kong and studying with Hong Kong U. That's really depend on your choices to have the good future in Hong Kong. As mentioned, uh, Hong Kong is a very fun, buzzing city. You can see the uh, photos here. So we got a lot of uh, incredible attractions. And you know, we are so famous uh, for our shopping center. You know, a lot of different shopping malls and also uh, a lot of different cuisine in Hong Kong. So uh, we have uh, majority Eastern cuisine, Western cuisine, and uh, you know, a cuisine for vegetarian and hala as well. And Hong Kong is also a place for innovators. Uh, for example, we have two very important uh, locations, which one called Science Park, I will show later, and also the Cyberport, which help to grow a lot of different innovations uh, in the city and for those innovators. Beside like, the concrete view, you know, the city view, the skyscrapers view in Hong Kong, it is just actually a step away to find out those countryside area. We got a lot of lush hills. We have a lot of famous beaches like Clearwater Bay, Repulse Bay, and also the famous peaks actually is like a 15 minutes ride of the famous tram. And Hong Kong also is very famous for the efficient, cheap and fast public transport system, MTR. So basically you can access everywhere in Hong Kong by using our public transport system. And we don't have very serious traffic jam in town because you can use those subway and train system. And all of that made Hong Kong is actually the world's top 10 safest city. So that means if you are studying here, if your kids are studying here, okay, they will be very safe and you don't have to worry them a lot. And finally, it will be great to experience it all when your journey to start with studying with HKU, which you can unleash your potential and build you know, the future, the, the last one I mentioned of, for your life. So we'd like to share more about the culture in Hong Kong. So uh, you can see a lot of skyscrapers uh, and you can, on the other side, you can uh, see a lot of old temples, traditional buildings. Just look at my virtual background. Actually it's the main building in Hong Kong. You is a heritage building. And then we also have a lot of light markets, you know, have different foods like dim sum and egg waffles. The second feature is the nature. So you can see, you can access to the top of the hill by hiking yourself, or you can take an easier way to take the cable car. So which is green color now, so it's not red anymore. So it is 15 minutes uh, a journey to bring you to the peak in Hong Kong Island side, so which you can look of the skyscraper views in Hong Kong. And if you love swimming, sunbathing, Hong Kong actually is a perfect place for you because most of the beaches, you know, you can assess them with less than an hour or just 30 minutes. Like what I mentioned, the Clearwater Bay, the Repulse Bay, or even the Gold Coast in new territories. So not only studying in Hong Kong is fun, but also a work, like a study life balance, you know, uh, when you have a holidays, when you have uh, some day off from your study, it could be a really lovely time that you spend in Hong Kong. For the future of yourself, uh, for example, I mentioned uh, the left photos, you can see like a golden egg 
actually is um, is a kind of like a theater. So this is a science park uh, in Taipo, uh, which a lot of startups uh, have been located here with uh, government support. And then on the right hand side photo, we also had a cyber port on the Hong Kong Island side, which is very close to Hong Kong U, which also is a uh, government initiative uh, to support quite a lot of startup, for example, like fintech startup companies there. So I would say Hong Kong is a platform ready that for to turning your own ideas into real. So it is a city of innovators. Not only that, the current term government has invested over 130 billion in related to the INT development, which I just mentioned. So you got a lot of platform and also funding, you know, for your own future projects. Why study in Hong Kong? And why so many students actually choose Hong Kong as a destination? Because it is the heart of Asia. Okay, it is very easy to, to travel to Hong Kong because it is like in the middle of Asia. And Hong Kong actually is the number one in business capital because with is a match ties with the mainland China. And it is also a hub of entrepreneurship because we have a lot of strong support for the startups and creators as mentioned. And also for some of you may not hear about the Greater Bay Area, which Hong Kong is acting a very, very important role. And also the Belt and Road Initiatives, which is initiated by mainland China as well. So uh, you may aware that we also got a scholarship which named Bell and Rose Scholarships. So uh, from this scheme, actually uh, you can have a lot of support, not only in Korea, but also when starting with Hong Kong, you to getting a scholarship, which is up to your full tuition fee. And then the other thing is for the future. For some of you may not know that for Hong Kong graduates, if you are uh, overseas students, so you are eligible to stay in Hong Kong for another 12 months after graduate without any restriction to seek jobs. So this is a very good platform for you to get your career ready after graduate, you know, without any barriers, any challenge. So Hong Kong welcome you, you know, to seek jobs, you know, to be a creators, innovators as an overseas students. Why University of Hong Kong? Some quick fact, Hong Kong U has a really good global reputations. We rank 21st in the world, QS rankings. We also rank the first most international university in the world. And we are the first number one in Hong Kong in terms of uh, the University of Hong Kong. Okay, it may be just number for you, right? But let me explain to you what these numbers means and important to you. When we ranked 21st in the world, that means we are the top tier university in the world. That means if you are studying in Hong Kong U, it is internationally recognized. Why it is so important? Because for some of you who may consider to have another postgraduate qualifications, the bachelor degree is internationally recognized. For some of you, you know, who would like to get a job for, worldwide from the globe, you know, it will be a very good qualifications for you because it is global reputable. And then the other thing is the first most international university in the world is what will that be important to you? As an overseas student, okay, you will be loved to join this diverse university in Hong Kong. So you will find a lot of different nationality cultures, our professors, students, you know, from all around the world. And of course, some of the questions, you know, still have uh, questions like, what kind of language that you used to teach? Of course, in Hong Kong, you, you use English because we are the most international university. Besides the overall ranking, I would like you to spend uh, a quick look of the faculty rankings as well. You can see most of our faculty ranking is on the top 25, you know, as a world ranking in the world. Because of uh, such a good reputations, 
here is some data I would like to share with you. Hong Kong U is actually the doors to high flying careers. In the past 16 years, the employment rate for us is more than 98.7%, which is close to 100%. And from the QS ranking, we are the number one of the most employable university graduates in Hong Kong. And we are the number 10th most employable university graduates in the world. Okay, so actually some of the uh, students, final year students shared with me that in their final year, some of them may already get multiple job offer before they graduated. Now, let me show you a quick video of how Hong Kong US. Okay, so spend time, some time to take a look of this video. So what can you experience in uh, Hong Kong U? So I would like to mention uh, in Hong Kong U, we have worked with a lot of universities over the world. So we have 382 overseas exchange partners in 46 destinations. For example, Cambridge, Oxford, MIT, Princeton, and Yale. So later I will show you a slide what kind of cooperating uh, programs that we have with those universities. You can also get numerous resources and opportunities for you to expose um, yourself into um, the network and also very important internship opportunities. The other thing I've mentioned is Greater Bay Area. Hong Kong is an Asia financial hub. So uh, in Hong Kong, you, you can get a lot of network out of that. And Hong Kong U is a very um, important to make research impact in the community. So for example, we have a cross discipline team of Hong Kong U engineering to develop a new sewage surveillance method targeting COVID virus. So it helps the Hong Kong community to discover a lot of COVID cases uh, before uh, actually using the, the traditional rat testing method. Some of the Hong Kong new innovations below. So one of it is the Idendrome, Microsoft Image Cup World Champion winner. And the other Hong Kong engineering student team also work on a project of a robotic fish, which you can see, which is just um, shown in the video, actually sets the Genesis World Record for two times. So this is the slide I would like to show you about the cooperative programs that we have. So you can join the double degree, which, you, which means that you enrolled in one program and after you graduate, you get two degrees. So for example, you study in Hong Kong U for two years, and then you can study in UC Berkeley for another two years to complete the program you got degrees from both universities. So it's like a kind of a combo. However, 
if you would like to shorten the experience, not like in a double degree or, or with a less financial impact because some of the, of the universities that of the double degree, uh, the cost would be quite high. I suggest you look at exchange programs that we provide in Hong Kong U. So here is some of the names that you can exchange a semester or two during your study with Hong Kong U. So I'm talking about living at Hong Kong U now. We have 70 residential halls you can live in. So we call um, whole life, you know, uh, it is um, not just an academic life, which whole life you can meet um, your friends from different programs, for different major and different halls has their own strong culture and heritage. So during your living experience at Hong Kong U, you can also build up network and have a lot of different Hong Kong U experience in the whole laugh pipe. Also, we have more than a hundred clubs and societies and student ambassadors as well. What does that mean for you? In the student sharing part, uh, I've invited a student uh, that she likes badminton a lot. So she actually continues her hobby in Hong Kong U and using her favorite spot, badminton, to make a lot of friends and really enjoying the time in Hong Kong U. So later she'll be sharing that part. So if you have any hobbies, spots, you know, this is also, you know, the way that you enjoy the life of Hong Kong U. Here are some of the testimonials from our students from all over the world, from India, South Korea, Indonesia, Philippines, et cetera. Some of the word is really impactful. For example, or she made a comment that coming to Hong Kong U is the best decisions in life, okay? Opportunities to pave you to your future careers from Janice in Indonesia. So I'm not going to name one by one, but this is all the thing they get out from Hong Kong U. So I'm going to show you what kind of programs that Hong Kong U offered. Hong Kong U is a very comprehensive university. So we got a variety of faculties and programs for you to choose from. So we got faculty of arts, dentistry, business, architecture, education, engineering. And also we got law, medicine, social science, and science. Don't worry, the word would be quite tiny if you are using your mobile phone. The information you can be searched in our Hong Kong U admissions website, which I will share to you the link and the QR code later. So this is just a quick overview of how comprehensive Hong Kong U is. So how to apply, how to get ready to Hong Kong U experience. As an international or long duplex admissions, pay attention, you should have the below qualifications like IB diploma, GCA A-level, or regional national examinations from your own countries. Please be aware that the first round of evaluations timeline is coming. It will be the 16th of November. So you can launch your applications by that. Later, I will also let you know what kind of documents that you have submitted and what if I don't have the final result yet. But I strongly encourage you, if you are interested to join Hong Kong U, please make your applications by the first one of evaluations. After first one evaluation, it will be a rolling admissions schedule, but which under rolling admissions, the applications will be reviewed time to time. So you won't have the priority like the first one evaluations that um, the applications to be screened at the very beginning. And in the rolling admissions, you may have chance to be not invited to some of the interview, okay? Because uh, some of the interview already started by December, okay? So please, please encourage yourself to launch applications 
by 16th of November. You should also check the subject requirements of different program as well, as different programs have different subject requirements. There will be expected lower boundary score listed for like IB or GCE A level. And then we also list what will be the English language proficiency, second language proficiency, and also the program requirements. So for example, if you're interested in engineering, so we expected you have maths and physics related qualifications. And if you are interested in medicine, you will be required chemistry. Besides academic documents, we encourage you to submit the applications with your extracurricular activities, personal statement, and references from your counselor or your teachers. And also please nominate your counselor to provide your school transcript and predicted result. Because for, for all, for most of you, I would say, won't having a final result of the proper exam yet by November. So what you can do is to ask your counselors to provide the transcript and the predicted grade. And please also let your counselor know, know that they have to be registered in the Hong Kong U application system as a counselor, okay? So please launch your applications once you have most of the documents ready because you will never have a final result yet by the, the day as I mentioned. And our application system, which, which is always, you can update. So once you have your final results, okay, you can update through your own applications. Okay, so don't worry that you don't got full set of documents that I mentioned, okay? try to launch your applications as long as you know you got most of the thing or as long as you're ready with you know uh, the documents. So you can apply for up to three program choices. Remember some of the program requirement that you have to put their program choices at the number one, the first choices at, as one of the program requirement. Okay, so uh, be mindful of that. Not to forget to mention, there are a lot of scholarships that offer by Hong Kong U. So you can browse the admissions website, scholarship sections, then you can have a look what kind of scholarships that we offer so that you can also um, study with Hong Kong U with our scholarships. Okay, so um, this is all about studying Hong Kong, studying Hong Kong U and also some of the admissions process. So if you want more information about programs, uh, about uh, Hong Kong U, you can uh, use this QR code or you can simply uh, go to our uh, international admissions website.